What's up YouTube? Okay, for tonight's video, we have a little tutorial on how to get 4 IV dittos and a chance of getting 5 IV and 6 IV. So um, I'm just going to run through an uh, in-depth guide on how I go about it the most easiest way. Alright, so first you're going to want a Hypno with Switcheroo, which I'll show you where to get to. Um, you also want a Porygon with Recycle. You can re remove all of its moves at the Move Deleter and just give it Recycle. That's the only move you want. You also want to give it a Smoke Ball as well and you also want to give your Hypno a Leper Berry to hold. Now, I've already shown how to get all the berries there. Um, if you don't know how to get Leper Berry, I've put a Berry Guide out yesterday. That'll be in the description. Okay, so uh, first you can get uh, Hypno here. Um, I've already got a Hypno, so I'm just going to like show you where to get it. Um, it it's it's fairly it's it's fairly common. I think it's uncommon, but it's not too hard to find. You should find it within five minutes or so. Um, now we want to go and show you where to get the Porygon for. I'm just going to run through real quickly where to get these. Um, so the Porygon you get given as a gift at Aether House. Um, I, I think this is pretty easy. You don't need to go capture it. You can just go grab it for free if you haven't done this already. Um, so you just head out to the left here, around here. I'm just going to dodge all the grass um, this way. I found a lot. I've seen a lot of guides with you know guaranteed six IV ditto and all this. It's not. It's actually not guaranteed. It's only a chance of getting a five or a six IV. So it's guaranteed four IVs. Okay, so. Um, just want to make that one clear. Okay, so going through the yellow door here, talk to this guy. He already grabbed mine already. Um, he'll give you your Porygon. You can soft reset for this if you want to, um, or whatnot. I just use Porygon there, so I know I can get another one quite easily. All right, so we want to go to Mount uh, Lanika now, and this is where we're going to get Absol from. Just jump down on the elevator here. Now, we want a Absol with pressure, because that's... Um, going to help us out in the SOS battle. All right, so um, I searched for about five minutes and I found it. it's about 20% chance to find the Absol. Um, the pressure ability will pop up at the start too, as you can see. Um, there, so you obviously want you want pressure and in intimidate a pressure Pokemon or an unnerved Pokemon. Um, these Pokemon make the uh, SOS Pokemon call their partner um, a lot more often there as well. Okay, so um, firstly we want to get some moves on this Absol. So we want False Wipe. You get that pretty early in the game from from the Kahuna. Um, you should already have that one. That's TM54. Um, so just teach that to Absol. Now the last two moves we want are we want rest on this and we want exes i'm going to show you how to get rest real quickly so just go to royal avenue here just jump on your taurus now you go into this uh, little shop with a hypno out the front and speaking of hypno we actually need to talk to a hypno or a guy dressed as a hypno so he's at the front there and this guy will probably give you some sort of like discount thingy uh that's all good we just want to get past this Okay, um, you can shop in there and have a look at all the stuff. I think I mentioned that in my last video. Okay, so talk to the Hypno here. Um, now, he'll ask you for like a little tip thing. Uh, I just tipped him uh, like a thousand and he gives you the rest TM there. So that's how you get that one. Um, yeah, it's actually a guy in a costume, uh, believe it or not. Um, so the last move we need to also get is x 2. Now, the reason I'm going to go over why I gave uh, these moves for. Uh, rest is good because you can make the... The ditto put itself to sleep. Also, you want to do this at night time, catching the dittos, um, because we're going to be using the dust balls, um, which is a um, modifier on uh, the catch rate of the Pokemon, makes it easier. Okay, I'll get more into that later. All right, so now we want to get, we want to go back here and we want to grab the TMX. This is, now, this one is behind this little thing is annoying, it's like one of those annoying little hole things. Uh, so just run behind there and grab it. It'll be next to a rock. So there is X Scissor. So now we just need to teach the Absol uh, moves. We'll have uh, on it, the final moves, we'll have a uh, False Swipe X Scissor, um, which we just got there too. Okay, so just uh, go down there and, and rest there too. Okay, so it's got all the moves. It already comes a Night Slash uh, when you catch it there, so that's easy. That's a good move. Now, I've got Night Slash there and X Scissor because if a Ditto does transform into you, you can hit it super effectively with um, X Scissor there as well. And you've also got pressure there to make the SOS, um, when it calls for an SOS, it, it happens a lot more frequently. So you don't get so many um, times when it says, uh, you know, the Pokemon didn't call for help. Right, it's sort of like uh, stacks with the Adrenaline Orb. All right, um, also I'd give the Absol a, a Leper Berry too, just in case you run out, because you've only got two moves on this, two attacking moves that actually kill stuff, so that would be handy there as well. 
All right, I'm just thinking what other things we are going to do here. So we want to go to Route 8. This is where you get, uh, this is one of the places you can get dust balls from. Uh, just go in there, go straight to the Pokemon Center. And we just want to uh, talk to these guys. And you can get uh, your dust balls from here. Just buy 99 of them. I know this is very basic stuff, but I just want to do it step. I like doing it step by step. So if this stuff you already know and you just want to skip to the ditto part, you can um, sure as hell do that one there. This is just more for beginners. Okay, so we want to go to Haloli City too. Um, this is where you get the Adrenal Orb. You need to actually do get quite far in the game uh, to actually get this item because it's an item that uh, gets added to your shop. Um, also, if you want to get any direct hits or anything, that's very useful with the um, Abzal there as well. Okay, so Adrenal Orb at the bottom. Uh, I just bought 99 of them. You only need to use one of them uh, per SOS battle there. Um, so... That'll probably be enough for like ages and ages. All right, so uh, quickly, I'm going to show you how to get this smoke ball. So you want to go to Po Town, just go inside there. And now you want to run up towards a truck. I'm just going to cut that little bit out. It's just running forward. Now, um, go up here and go to the right. It's one of these annoying little like ledges. It's near a yellow truck there. So you'll just come out the other side and the smoke ball will be here. I've already grabbed it. Okay, so that's how you grab the smoke ball and you want to attach that one to the Pokemon. Now, what smoke ball does, it allows you to run away from uh, poke wild Pokemon encounters. So you just keep running away. It's annoying having to bump into Pokemon all the time. So you really just want to swiftly find the Ditto. Um, so just run away from the Pokemon and find the Ditto. All right, so we want to go to the um, observatory and just ride straight from down there. And uh, this is where you capture the uh, Dittos. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what happened. So um, if you obviously don't know, if you, a lot of the Pokemon here will be like Minos, Skarmory, um, like you can get Beldum, Cleffa, those sort of Pokemon. Uh, Fero, quite common. So as you can see, the smoke ball lets me run away from it there. All right, so um, I'm going to cut out a big section here because it took me about 10, 15 minutes to find the Ditto. And it's quite a small chance, about a 5 to 10% chance. And uh, Ditto is going to appear. All right, so the first one you want to lead with is Porygon and you want it to have the Recycle. All right, uh, so firstly, you want to uh, go into your bag here on turn one and just go to across to your uh, battle items. The battle items will be where the Adrenaline is. Okay, so to use that um, that item, and that's going to make uh, you know, the Ditto nervous, which is going to in incre increase it calling uh, Pokemon as well as the uh, pressure ability. Okay, so it's going to uh, change into the Porygon, so that's cool. Now, uh, Porygon only has, uh, since it's only got Recycle, it's only got five moves, so you need to act pretty quickly. So we want to swap out here into the Hypno, and Hypno is going to give it uh, Switcheroo it, the Leper Berry. Now, what Leper Berry will do, Leper Berry will continually restore its uh, PP and then when it gets and it's holding it to and when it gets to zero um, the Porygon will use recycle and just keep continually recycling that barrier over and over again so it will never ever run out of moves it will just keep using recycle when it gets to the last move it will use recycle it will eat this berry and then it will just it's a never ending cycle really just to keep the uh, ditto on the field there uh, and then you can you can start chaining for uh, the Ditto's in. Now, sometimes the Porygon may call on the first turn. If it does and another Ditto does pop up, just swap back into the Porygon, let the other Ditto uh, change into the Porygon, then swap back into the Hypno, then uh, give the uh, Porygon on the right the Berry, then just take out the... Uh, take out... Um the other ditto. Okay, so with the first ditto, we want to get it down to a low range too. So uh, this is where false swipe comes in handy. Um, you could definitely have a much higher level Abzol in this one. This is just one I caught in the wild, which is handy there. Also, you can use a direct hit too, which is quite handy on the Night Slash because if you get any dittos that use uh, have Imposter or Transform into them, you can crit them and it will still kill them at this level um, without having to go for another move. Uh, the, uh, the only probably thing about this is pressure you need to watch out. Uh, you use two moves uh, instead of one, so it may not be quite reliable on the move. So I just suggest doing a little, just get a little notepad or something and put like a tally down for how many dittos you have taken out. Now, there's a couple of also... Uh, things that I want to explain here too. So, um, we'll go over the chaining here. So, as you can see, the Porygon is just eating the Leperberry and it's continually calling for Pokemon now. Um, also, if, if, if it doesn't call for a Pokemon, it says no help appeared, just hit Adrenaline Orb again, use it. It actually doesn't use it. Um, that'll just like waste the turn so it can keep calling. Just keep doing that till it calls a Pokemon. So with the uh, IVs, uh, 0 to 4 will be no guaranteed perfect IVs. A chain of 5 to 9 will be 1 guaranteed perfect IV. Uh, 10 to 19 will be 2. 
a uh, chain of 20 to 29 will be 3, and 30 to 255 will be 4. So we're going for the 30. So go for 31. Uh, just to make sure. If you lose count, just do a couple more. Uh, now, once it goes past 255, that resets. So you're not going to get anything better after that So with the IV. So make sure you do that. Uh, also, hidden abilities will also pop up there as well. Um, that's starting off from 0 to 9 encounters, which is basically 0%. 10 to 19 being 5%. 20 to 29 being 10%. And 30 to 255 being 15%. So if you want to get your hidden abilities, this is a way too. Okay, so this, um, we have a ditto here. Now, I did skip a lot forward here, and now I'm just knocking down the ditto uh, where I need to. I actually want to capture this one. It's actually changed into me. All right, so the only um, the only thing you got to wait for really now is the Absol to use rest. Since it's at night time and it's asleep, that adds modifiers to it as well. Um, I just fainted in. That doesn't matter. You can just bring in another Pokemon. Um, really, you're just waiting for the Absol to put itself to sleep. Then you can just um, you, you can just bring in your uh, Absol again. Make, just make sure you have a couple of uh, revives and max potions before you go out so you're all prepared for that. Um, or four restores, whatever you need there. So I'm just reviving my Absol in the meantime. Uh, remember the Ditto, when it uh, actually transforms, it only has five of each move. So... If it's got one move, it's only got five health. If it's got four moves, it's got 20 moves. So uh, just bear that one in mind there too. And if there's pressure on the field, that means it's going to use up extra, another extra move. So say if it used a move with pressure, that's using two instead of one PP. Okay. Um, the Porygon's basically just still sitting there. So we, we just we can probably get rid of the Porygon now. I'm, I'm just thinking uh, I, can, I can swap in my Hypno here and take it out. Uh, it doesn't really matter if the Absol kills me. I'm basically waiting for it to use up its Night Slash and its X Sizzle, or just waiting for it to randomly use Rest, and then I can swap in Absol, full swipe it, get it down to one health, and with a Dust Ball and at Night and on one health, it's gonna, it's nearly a hundred percent catch ratio. I've actually never seen it breaking out of, of the ball, so it's uh, very very easy. Okay, so that's uh, you're breaking the chain now. So that's uh, getting rid of the Ditto all the way from the start here. Now bear in mind the Abzel can call other Pokemon too, so you either need to get it down to health as quick as you can and you know wait for it to use rest and then you can just use another pokemon like i've just got this hypno if any other pokemon do appear you can just kill them before they transform and that sort of thing there so you just want to keep this absol on the field all right so i just thought i'd throw a dust ball just to see um i actually nearly got this without even it being asleep so it was very very close there uh, so it wasn't even asleep i just thought i'd give that one a go all right so i'm just going to get hit by the uh, night slash here which is fine now absol is going to try and or ditto is going to call for another pokemon since i've got my um since i've got my hypno here already i can just use zen headbutt on that and take it out um, I, I just taught it a couple of attacking moves if needed to there. It comes with Zen Headbutt in the wild, so um, and it comes at quite a decent level too, so that's you know, that's more than enough to take out the Dittos. Okay, so just keep take it, taking out the Dittos there. Um, so you want to keep the field clean now. We are after this particular Ditto. All right, so Abzal's going to kill me. That's fine. It's used up a lot of its Night Slashes already. Remember, it only has five, and there's Pressure Pokemon too when I swap back in my Abzal. All right. Now we want to just we want to get it to um, we want to start false swiping this thing just get it down to low health and we want to wait for it to uh, rest. Okay, I think it's going to call another. No, it didn't call another Pokemon, which is good. Um, okay, let's uh, let's just go for false swipe. We want to put it down on one pixel health. Okay, so now it uses rest, right? So it's going to put itself to sleep. A lot of the time, like people use like Smeagol and things like that, uh, but that does take quite a bit of preparation getting the moves, and m not everyone understands that. So I'm giving you a, like a more uh, like basic way to catch it. So if you don't really can't be bothered doing all the Smeagol sketching, um, and a lot of other people already covered the Smeagol way, so I'm just doing a different way there. In before anyone comments about that, um, okay. All right, so it's down on one health. It's asleep. It's it's night time. You throw a dust ball. It's a, basically 100, nearly 100% catch. So the chances are so high at getting it. Uh, Ditto has quite a uh, low catch rate itself, which is really good. So it may take a little bit of prep. Once you get to the Ditto, you may take a few hits. Um, need to revive yourself. But once it's put once it puts itself asleep, you're good to go. Then it's very very easy to capture. Like I got that easy. Um, so there we go. That's how you uh, get the Ditto there. Um, it's a little bit uh, more simple than doing the other one. You can get all these Pokemon without doing any Smeagol sketching or Memento things. I don't really like the Memento one in case you find a shiny uh, anything like that. I just don't. I'd prefer this way. It's much easier. I think this was about 59 chains. I was 
kind of doing other things. So I, I went over the uh, 30 chain by quite a bit there. Okay, I'm just going to nickname that. Oh, that'll do 55 chain. Um, I've done loads of these dittos. I'll, I'll show you a couple of other ones I've done too. We can have a look at what um, IVs it got to. So that would be, this is guaranteed for 31 IVs. So you can use this for breeding. Now, I also will be putting a breeding episode up. Uh, I'll try and get that one up tomorrow. I just wanted to put the berry guide out and the ditto guide so I could work from them. And, um, you know, if I mention mention anything in those, you can just look back on these. All right. Um, that was my Belden from before. Okay. So we got... Oh, damn. I was close to getting a 5 of you. So we have a best in attack, defense, speed, and special defense, and it's a bold nature. That's uh, that's pretty good. So we got four perfect IVs. So you always will get four perfect IVs if you do more than 30 uh, 30 or more uh, battles. Um, it, there's definitely not any guaranteed 5 or 6 IV. Like Anyone that's saying that is not telling the truth because you have to get a minimum of 4. Um, you ha The other 2 have to be uh, RNG. So it's complete luck whether you get the last 2. So if you got a 5 IV yourself, um, you, you lucked out on the last stat being... Uh, or the, the 5th or 6th stat being a 31. Uh, so just watch out then if anyone trades you them because there's a... you know. Th th there's a very small chance of that happening, um, as, as well as getting a good nature there too. All right, um, so I hope this one helped you out. Uh, that's about all for this video. I will try and get my actual breeding guide up tomorrow night. I just wanted to get these two basic guides out for you uh, so I can reference off these two. Okay, guys, peace out.